Cyberox. Hey, ole, ole, ole. What's up, Cyberox here? Today I'm going to be talking about how to learn any programming language you want in the world. Now, actually, uh, today we are going to be talking about how to learn just about any programming language that there is out there. And with uh, actually quick, or not really quick, but it helps you concept it more. Now, hopefully everybody that is trying to program actually does this already. And if you don't, well, this is a good start, you know. So I'm going to tell you all the main basics to doing this. One, you'll need a brain. That's underneath here. If you have one, good. If you're always running into stuff, you might want to go to get that checked. Two, you will need a pen. That's right, a pen. A pen, not a pencil. Actually, a pencil would be better, but you're going to need a, a pen. Or pencil, mostly, preferably pencil. The pencil scrubs off when you're at it, and then it goes to the pen. Then, you'll be needing a book. Doesn't matter which book, I'm using this book. And then, you'll be needing another book. Alright, and another book. And why not even another book? And a phone. Now, what does the books and phone have to do with it? I have no idea. But you will be needing one book, at least. Now, what you're going to be doing whenever you are learning the language that you are, you basically, you just want to really want to open up your book, have a new page ready, and just write in it. You know, like right now I'm learning uh, hash, fun hash function, right? Hopefully you can see it. It's somewhere in there. Hash function on Perl, right? I'm learning that. And uh, I write it down. I write that down. I write just about every other program language down. And I mean, so far, uh, quite a few pages full of codes that are not just Perl. Like, uh, here we go. One of my ripped page is C++. I'm pretty sure that's right. You can see it up there. I mean, I literally have so far, okay, this is, I have 17 pages full of just codes from all different types, like HTML, CSS, uh, C++, stuff like that. Now, if I go ahead and I'm going to back up real quick. Also, I'm over 18, so that's why I'm doing the show without a shirt for right now, but you can't see it, so yeah, boys going wild. Well. All right. Here's another book, uh, PHP. And this is why I say you need other books because the more languages you learn, the more books you want to have separate. Because this book is like my little black book. I don't have a social life, so forget all them girls' numbers. I just want my codes instead, right? Um, so it's good to have a book that has kind of like every other code in there. Um, I'm gonna start taking this wherever I go because. If I'm in an emergency program or somebody needs something right then there, I can go bing and just pop it open, you know. But again, it's good to have a book that has everything in it. And but when you're at home, you want to do like individual books. Like this is my C++ book. It did have the title, but I kind of lost it. And I mean, it it it's pretty detailed. And that's another thing. When you are writing it, you want to write in the line. Um, what it does or have the line next to it pretty much saying what it does because otherwise you're just gonna be lost you know you're gonna be like well, what does this do so it's always good to kind of leave a comment you know like um, for an example again just an example oh, I'll create all my pages over here you would want to put like the code but on this page you would want to put like the comments on the same line Right, this line leads right there, so you want to put a comment saying what this line does, you know? So it's good. It, it it helps you kind of concept it, and whenever you're, like, really bored, you can kind of go back and look at it more like, what does this code do? Oh, okay. Unless you're kind of like me, where you know what it does when you look at it. But you ha if you have no idea what it does, even though you knew it before, but you forgot, it's good to have that. Um, so, yeah. Fireworks, 4th of July. Booyah! Um, stay tuned after this to laugh out loud. But anyways, uh, that's one way you can go about trying to learn a language faster. Or not necessarily faster, but help you learn it and contain it. You know, uh, if I hopped on C++ right now, I could do some. I would have to look through the book, and then I could be, oh, okay, yeah, this is this, this is this. You know, but real quick, if you're trying to learn multiple languages like I have,
like I've learned C++, C, JavaScript, Java, uh, Perl, HTML, CS. I know quite a bit. Um, I don't know it all, but I know a good amount. That's why I'm doing Perl. This is just now. My next language I'm going to be learning is um, Assembly or Ruby, which is Assembly, or uh, some other stuff. Also, no Python. So it's like, it's really interesting. But um, the reason why I say if you're going to do this, it's best to have some type of. Um, I'm trying to think of how to say it. Basically, I mean, your mind has to be set to where if you look at it, you know what it is right off the bat. Um, if you look at it and you're having some struggling, and you're like, what does this do? It's going to be kind of hard for you. That's why I suggest the comments. Versus if you look at it and you already know what it is, you can just do both pages full of code. And so that way you can use this page instead of comments, have it just, you know, um, code. And the other page, code. And then you're like, okay, I know what this does, what this does. All right, I know how to do this and this. So, I mean, it's good to have basically brain power. I'm not saying everybody out there is dumb because... <laughs> I mean, I've looked, I, I've done a test, right? And I stress a test. It said my IQ was 51. Now, uh, I looked that up. That's like, duh. Um, I mean, really don't think that's me, you know? So, again, that was just a test. But if I can do it, all right? And now I'm saying this. If I can do it, you can do it, all right? I, I'm not really knowledgeable when it comes to history, language, arts, you know, science. No. But you get on a computer, I'll put you to shame. I can make a program that does all kind of stuff, you know. Uh, of course, when I say all kind of stuff, I mean like, I uh, like literally, um, how can I, like CMD stuff, right? Not visual interface, GUI, no. But regular code, yeah. I know how to do some stuff. That's why, like, some some of my friends and family say, you know. Not the brightest, or you know, go ahead and give up on Cyberox, give up on a dream. Well, you know, you can say that for now, but uh, once I actually become a success, and I will, um, yeah, you can really eat those words pretty dang good. You might want to put some salt and pepper on it because it's going to taste real bad. But, anyways, all in all, to learn and kind of concept the language, get some books for however many languages you want to do, um, write it down, write the code down, and if if you have a hard time remembering what the code did, then put the comments. Because, I mean, I'll admit, I have comments on here, too. But like, this was, like, uh, um, HTML. Whenever I was first getting into coding, period, um, you know, I, I put um, the break line, right? And I still kind of do that. Um, I, You know, I would do the less than, br, then the greater than. And then I would put an equal, and then I would put what it does. So, basically, it goes, like, the BR tag equals break line in my term in like English, right? So that that kind of got me and helped me a lot. I can now make a website or a web page out of like that. It's not gonna be good. I mean, look at my website I have now. I did that all by myself, but it doesn't look great. I still need a template, so you know. But that helped me real to understand it really good, and it's always good to practice it. If you are working on a program like right now, right? I'll go ahead and show you this. So you can kind of be like, oh, this, dang it, Windows 7. Um, this is the code I'm trying to learn right now, four hashes. And I'm still trying to concept what is it doing. And I'm like, okay, and it's supposed to be doing what? So, you know, if you have a hard time with a certain type of code, or if you're having a hard time trying to figure out what it does, keep doing it over and over. You know, at first, keep looking in your book, see how to type the code. Uh, then later on, put the book down then try to do it on your own and if you mess up look at the book see where you messed up and be like ah now something in programming you want to really quickly know is even the slightest thing will mess you up even the slightest little thing will mess you up like a lowercase n or uh, a semicolon out of place you have to be really precise with coding otherwise it's gonna jack up so that's about it that's how to basically learn a programming language and keep and retain it. All right. So real quick, I want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers named Savannah. I hope it's a her. If it's a guy, you must have a really time, hard time growing up. But I most likely am assuming it's a girl. So I want to go ahead and give a shout out to her. Also, now that you're waiting to the end of this movie, Happy Fourth of July, which is freaking awesome. If you're American, Happy Fourth of July. If you're British. <laughs>
<laughs> we whoop you. But as you know, always, thank you for watching Cyberox and have a good day and God bless. The British are losing. The British are losing. <laughs>